What is up guys? My name is Squishy Spud and welcome back to our weekly Xur video where we take a look at what he has and where he's hiding. This week he is hiding, as you can see, a ship coming in, so we're in the shipyard. He's not really hiding. Take a look at the map, you can see exactly where he is. And we'll jump into what he's got. Okay, starting out with the Titan class, the Imperial Bellicose. Um, nothing really special. Aiming weapons with airborne holds you in place. It's it's something that the uh, Warlock has had for a special, not a special, but part one of his perks for a while. So I guess it's kind of cool to pass it over to the Titan. But of course you have to use the helmet and you have to have just this helmet on. You can't use any other helmet. So it's nothing, nothing really, I don't think that's worth it. But... To each his own. Shield starts recovery immediately after orb pickup, so that that's a definite plus, but that'll set you back 13 strange coins. We'll take a look at what it looks like. Now, moderate, you know, it, it looks moderately cool, I guess. It doesn't really change color, I don't believe, but my biggest gripe with this is if you look inside, it looks like it's got some cogs inside, which at first glance is pretty cool, but then when you keep an eye on them, they don't move. Now, I guess that's just nitpicking, but that would have been a really cool thing to see is the cogs moving inside the helmet. So, you know, I would I would wear it just because it looked cool, but they, they lost points on that one, so I, I don't have it. I'm not going to have it, but to each his own, letting you know what Zer is selling. Moving on to the Hunter class, the, cra the crest of Alpha Loopy, or Loopy, whatever you want to say. It's Loopy. It's fucking Loopy. Crazy. Psycho. You've heard every last tale of the wolf by now. None of them are true. You are the wolf. Oh, psych! Anyway, supers regenerate on ore pickup, revive, and be revived faster. Definitely very helpful. I know a lot of people use this on PvP, like the uh, 3v3. <coughs> it helps. And one day I won't have this uh, chest crap in my lungs. Increase the amount of auto rifle ammunition you can carry, which I don't use auto rifles too much. I'm a scout rifle guy, but if you use auto rifles, that's definitely helpful. And reduce incoming void burn damage. It'll also set you back 13 strange coins. And let's take a look. It definitely looks cool, too. Moving on to the Warlock class, my first Destiny class. It's the Alchemist Raymond. Now, this freaking thing shows up every five seconds at zero, so it, it's nothing special. We're not going to go too much into it. Chance of uh, gain glimmer on primary ammo pick on primary ammo pickup with full super orbs recharged and generate melee. Um, it's not really anything special, in my opinion. Uh, all I can do is give you my opinion, and I'm. It's the Alchemist Raymond. I mean, if you get an Engram. It's probably going to be the Alchemist Raymond. If you buy a chest, or win a chest Angram, or buy a chest Angram, it's going to be the Alpha, the uh, Alchemist Raymond. It's just the way it works. So I wouldn't waste your strange coins on one. But uh, let's take a look at it. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Everybody knows what it looks like by now. But when you first get it, it's really cool looking. It changes color and stuff. But after that, it's like, oh, the Alchemist Raymond again. Gee, thanks. Now moving on to our surprise again this week. We're looking for a, we're looking at a weapon, the Invective Shotgun, which is a fantastic shotgun. I don't know if I'd take up my primary slot with. The, I'm very picky when it comes to guns. I'm actually not really. It's not like Year One where you knew you had your Fatebringers and your Vision of Confluence that were legendary, so you could put those in the first slot. Second slot was. Uh, I mean, a lot of people like the Icebreaker, which is a fantastic sniper rifle, but you didn't have to have it in the first slot. Snipers weren't a huge deal there. And then, of course, everybody knew that Galahorn was what you had to have in your, as your exotic. This, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of cool that they're mixing up the guns, but none of the guns really have that feel. So I really don't go around with um, any exotics in my inventory. I have all legendaries. <coughs> so the only thing I really take around now is the truth because it seeks. But anyway, the Invective is a good shotgun. It shoots re pretty good, and its its impact and rate of fire is good for a shotgun. It's it's a good shotgun, but it's 
best perk is the regenerating ammo. It's basically a shotgun version of the icebreaker. So it's it's awesome to take for PvP because then you don't have to worry about special drops. You get them, it just regenerates. So yeah, but we'll take a look at that. So there's your invective. It actually looks really cool too with the lights. So this I have, and uh, definitely, like I said, it's definitely a PvP weapon. There's no real use for it in uh, PvE. It works great, but I don't, over sniper rifles, I just, I wouldn't take it into PvE. But in PvE, it can be very useful. Uh, moving on to our, uh, for those of you who are still trying to get your level one, level one, year one exotics, uh, you're looking at the Legacy Engram. Again, I, I say this every time. If you're looking for year two, this is not a primary weapon engram for any year two exotics. It's only year one. They will drop at the year one uh, damage rate. They are year one. That's it. But of course, if you do get one that's a year, a year one weapon drop that has been upgraded to year two, you can then go to the kiosk and only spend an exotic shard and legendary marks to get the year two version. But this will only get you the year one version. Glass needles, allowing you to change some of the perks in exotic items. Three of coins. Again, this is basically what I always spend my uh, strange coins on. Always have these in there. They give you a higher rate of drop chance of exotic engrams uh, playing PvE and PvP. So they're definitely worth it. One strange coin drops you three heavy ammo synthesis, which is really cool. The rare sparrow crap, nope, we don't do that. We never ever do that. And two strange coins get you a mode of light. And again, as I say, of every week, I'm knocking stuff off my desk here. Every week, um, unless you're loaded with strange coins and you really need modes of light, they, you know, modes of light have a higher drop chance than strange coins anyway. So it's just, I don't understand why these are here. I, I never have, so. But they're there, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. And I hope that you're excited for something that he's bought. If you're not, welcome to the club. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Yes, it's very nice, sir.